Alright you guys, hello and welcome to my first video guide for hacking for Mega Man Battle Network 6. This is a music import video guide. Uh, first thing we're going to do is find our MIDI. I already have it on the desktop. It's a rendition of Jewel Man from Mega Man 9. And first thing you want to do is edit your MIDI. I have Fruity Loop Studio. It's not really required any MIDI editor would do. But I chose FL Studio since I'm more familiar with it. As you can see, the first thing you want to do is edit the channel. Right here I'm checking out uh, which instruments represent which in the compilation. And it's very important. Lot, this, this track has a lot of clones. Lots of clone channel. And you want to get rid of those. They probably play a better effect in the MIDI, but the GBA is limited to how many channels it can actually play at once. And when you do change it, you have to do something else. Notice in the video, I'm deleting all the clones right now, so I won't cause any more confusion. We were, the main part of the main reason why besides limiting is to find the right instruments in Game Boy Advance. You want to uh, use 5, 6, 7, 8, those are the square waves, 1 and 2. And as for Battle Network 6, 26 is guitar I think. Uh, another 20 is a bell sound. 49 is the uh, internet stream sound. Those are just some of the basic ones you want to use. There are a lot more and I haven't really documented on it quite yet. This is the first version of the video. I sped it up. And when we're placing these, these things, you want to right click and put replace and put MIDI out. And then change the patch number to the corresponding instrument for 5, 6, 7, 8 or whatever and right now I'm just listening to it you notice the first channel is blank well yeah that's the sound effects channel in GBA it's not supposed to have anything on this you have to reserve a channel for sound effects in Battle Network 6 I don't know if you have to do it for every Battle Network game but I'm pretty sure you have to do it for Battle Network 6 if you go ahead and put a first channel with a uh, full note you won't be able to play sound effects during your game and then it won't be able to work for patches Right now I'm just going through some more uh, patch numbers in the mini out section. Uh, this video will not cover percussion correctly. Percussion almost always has a limit. I think it's about uh, say five different ones. Okay, and I'm done editing it. Edit editing it. Man, I can't speak. Anyway, right there you're going to need, the, after you get your MIDI file, you want to get mid to AGB, which converts the MIDI to an S file, which is a uh, arranger for a Game Boy Advance music editor. Convert it to an S file and then open Safi immediately. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is open up a ROM, but before that you have to configure your XML file to make Bad Network 6 compatible. There's a guide at Trans for this, but I'll probably include the file that makes it compatible. I'm using Falls R US version. And next thing you want to do is assemble the S file. Remember where you saved it. I saved my S file in the SAPI folder, so with lots of others. It should be in there. Click open, and then for your base destination offset, just put the table number up there it's the same thing and then you click assemble that ugly thing it'll sit there for a moment and then it'll compile it for you also I want to note earlier in the video you have to copy your ROM so you won't mess it up I, I made a fake ROM uh, called it says copy me and it's not a fake it's actually the real ROM it's just a copy and you keep duplicating that wrong. Okay, once the song is assembled, you'll see it, it, that track two is blank. That means it got in. 
you might want to test how the whole thing sounds with the wave driver and not the mini driver you have to go up there in the options and select wave driver it'll select the sounds from the game instead of previewing mini sounds if everything is done correctly it should sound right the first channel should be blank and the rest of them should be going uh, pretty good uh, still testing the song here pretty long video but yeah make a copy of the wrong then open it in fashion because that first copy will not work it, it just won't work the first time around and if it does work that means you use like a small MIDI which probably won't loop very well and I'm not going to cover looping in this tutorial either because that's a whole different process you want to get it in the game first once you got your thing working you go to export track select all of them and then put cash T and then press OK it'll dump all your tracks to the last folder you were in the last folder I was in in this video was the sappy folder so they all got exported there and I'll probably show you within a few seconds right I have the sappy folder open behind me so you put cash T it, it uh, names your tracks after number zero and up right here it has zero through seven so I had eight channels all together remember the folder that you had these in because you're going to have to import the track next to get them to work so close out sappy and reopen it again yeah you reopen sappy open it up copy the original wrong again and then you'll have to import the track so select copy blah 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 select it open then you put import tracks but if the directory is wrong just like it is in this video it's probably going to be wrong uh, the S files are in the sappy folder as well along with my track files so go to assemble saw, open anything, and then cancel it. And then next time you import the track, it'll take you right to that directory since you were in there last. Select all your tracks, press OK, and then put yes. Then exit, and it should be in. When you test this time, track two should still be there, which means you successfully imported it. Now you might get a delayed track sometimes. In this example, I got a delayed track, which just means either have too many channels or it's just something else to make sure it works open up your newly added music ROM in VBA uh, you just go here blah 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 open it in this video it's called copy 8 so you just open that up uh, it kind of lagged since I was recording the full screen and my computer is not very good at that now in Sappy I selected track one that's the title screen you can easily figure out which track you're replacing by just simply pressing play in Sappy without editing anything once you find the track you want to replace or if you don't want to replace it pick a number after 26 or 27 but I rather just replace the track since you can make copy after copy of the same wrong overwriting it won't really do anything to it especially if you import the tracks like I did but this is a matter of testing there will be flaws and tweaks that you have to go over if you do get it right the first time you're pretty lucky but you might have to go back in free loop studio and edit some instruments but that's how you import a MIDI file any custom song into Mega Man Battle Network 6 this is Mammon of the South, and my stuttering and crap is over. I will probably make a part two, a version two of this guide. I hope you all enjoy, and it's time to go.